Welcome to another episode of the Oxygen Not Included Beginner's Guide series. And what we're looking at here is our thermal temperature map. And as you can see here, we are starting to warm up in our base. Um, and we have some heat going on here and our power is producing a lot of heat. So something we're going to want to start working towards is cooling systems. Um, and for that, we're going to need plastic and steel. And so that is something we want to start working towards. Here we have our glossy uh, Draco eggs happening. Uh, we will probably want to build something to help these guys hatch faster. Uh, I'm also planning on uh, taking some of these mealwood and putting them in here. I also want to start getting some of this carbon dioxide out and stored somewhere. Um, we could also pump it into space, but for now I'm just going to try to store some of it um, just because it is starting to make things like working in the kitchen difficult for our dupes. And the other thing is, is we're going to be exploring further on our map. We're going to need to find things like oil uh, to make even more plastic. Uh, this is kind of... Uh, easier ways to get plastic but much slower so there's other ways we can produce plastic using oil uh, and then we'll also want to uh, start uh, refining steel just because steel doesn't overheat in uh, some of the bigger things that we'll be building in a later date so to start off just because it won't take too much to do is we want to get a gas storage which we can find here, along with the thermoregulator and a bunch of other things. Um, we want this gas reservoir. And then after that, I will be researching the metal refinery, which you can find under solid materials. Uh, so that will be the thing we research after. I'm also going to clean up some of the leftover pipes from before, um, because I was pumping in the... Uh, hydrogen into this room. I have uh, a lot of leftover pipes everywhere so I'm going to get rid of some of those so we can repurpose them. Another thing we will need for steel will be lime so make sure you have a rock crusher that is always um, crushing eggshells or poke shells into lime. Poke shells are something that will be shed by these guys um, so that you can sometimes find them out and about in the world. So while stuff is being researched, the thing I want to build here is an incubator so that we can get these guys to hatch. As soon as we can get these guys um, hatched and giving us plastic, uh, the better. So what we have here is the incubator. We're going to need power and then we're going to need automation for this to work well. The automation that you will need will be a cycle sensor right here. And then we'll need some automation wire to connect it up to the incubator. All right, so we have the incubator and we'll be able to select eggs. I don't quite want to do that yet. I just realized we have a third Draco glossy Dreckle egg. I'm very excited about that. And our research is complete. So as I mentioned before, I am going to start looking into the metal refinery. All right, we have our sensor. So. Um, the reason we'll need this sensor is because this thing, as long as it has a creature in it, um, will constantly be pulling power. But the machine having power only really allows for one thing, and that is for your rancher dupe to come lullaby the egg. Um, so we don't actually need it running all of the time. So what we need to do is go into our duplicates schedules, find our um, rancher, which looks like it is a uh, Bonhi. So she's sleeping during this time. I have her have a bath time and then she's working. So we'll probably want our sensor set up kind of in this time. We also want the incubator set to priority nine. So we'll go here. I'm going to test having it running about 10% of the day to give her time to get down, do the task, and everything. I want to give her a little time for the um, bath. So let's test this. 
once we have an egg. <laughs> there we have an egg and it's in our green time. Let's see if uh, she has enough time to get here. Apparently we had her also cooking. You don't want that. You want her number one priority to be uh, branching for this to work. Let's go ahead and extend this time just for this first time. Once we have everything set up, it won't be a problem. So here we can see that she is giving our little egg a hug. Okay, I'm going to set this back to 10 so I don't forget. Before we do that though, we'll check the egg and you can see that it is incubating because it is in the incubator. And the lullaby because the rancher came by and gave it that hug, which gives it 400%, uh, which is crazy. So that you can see is going and even if we have this turned off, you can double check, it still has both of those. So that's a good way to conserve power because it does have a bit of a um, draw, as you can see here. So we don't want that pulling all of the time if we don't have to. And now that the research is done, I can now grab a gas reservoir. Go ahead and place that here. Grabbing the gas pipe and putting that into the bin. I don't think I'll ever be confident about that. <laughs> I'm actually going to keep these old pipes we were using, get rid of this gas vent, and then have the pipes go out over here. As always, I'm going to automate this with a little switch. Just because I like uh, being able to directly control that stuff without using a duplicant. We've got ourselves some blue prints. Might as well print a wheeze wart, um, just because we don't need anyone at the moment. And it can't hurt to have seeds around. All right, we got this guy working and we can check in the ventilation to see if we're getting a lot of this um, carbon out. If you were in a place where there isn't, you know, three rooms worth of carbon, you might need to do a bit of a sensor situation, but there's no way anything's going to get over here except for carbon. <gasps> Aw, one of ours have hatched here. It won't let me select them. There they are. So we have ourselves a little wee babe and soon we will be able to get plastic from them. I think now that we have our three um, glossy that we don't really need the standard Dreco anymore. There's always going to be plenty out in the world. As you can see, there's an, one right there. So uh, we don't need to be tending to this guy anymore. We have a lot of reed fiber. So goodbye. You've been a lot of help. Here it is, lime. <laughs> I was like, I, I want this picked up over here, but I couldn't find where it was listed on here. It's under consumable ore, for those wondering. <laughs> hmm. I'm not entirely sure why this millwood is upset. <laughs> I don't think it's temperature. It's in the right gases. I don't know, but it is mad. <laughs> but um, I'm waiting to see if this little guy gets lullabied in time. It does not look like it. I may need to move this guy. Let's check. You can check on here to see errands. So it is her number one priority after whatever it is she's doing presently. Ah. Is, what, what priority is this guy? Hmm. Interesting. There she is. I've made a little adjustment to this over here. I've connected this battery up to our power because it was producing too much power basically and so it was never running um so now i have other things drawing off this battery so this guy will run so that we can produce some oxygen which will help push down some of this carbon down into the lower areas let's look at one more blueprint sure we'll do the same thing as last time for the same reason <laughs> seeds are good to have um the only thing I can assume that's going on with these millwood is that they're getting old because nothing is harvesting them. That's all I can think um, because it has all of the things all right with it. So if you have an idea on why these uh, millwood are upset, let me know. Um, but I think that's going to be where we end this episode. We've pulled out quite a bit of uh, carbon. I'm making space for one more. Um, to put off to the side here. So this plant. Let's go ahead and upgrade that and then I'll put another one here. 
uh, just to make sure that the, our base is as breathable as possible. We are about to get a lot of fish. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, but yes, we've got these guys going. We'll be able to start making some plastic. I've been doing the research and setup to start looking into making a metal refinery, which will allow us to make steel. So then we can start cooling stuff. Um, especially because the metal refinery will be producing a lot of heat. So we'll want a way to cool that and then we can use that to actually produce power. So we're getting into a little more complicated stuff. So I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to that. And if you have anything else you'd like to learn about, let me know down in the comments down below. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.